We're at Hack MIT. Hack MIT is MIT's annual hackathon, bringing together over a thousand top innovators, programmers, and entrepreneurs to develop revolutionary product ideas in just 24 hours. Despite the application process, Addy and I were successfully accepted, and we were excited to go on this trip together. To get there, we first took a 20-minute public bus ride, where I ate the dinner I had packed beforehand. Then we jumped on the light rail, but after accidentally missing the transfer station, we gave in to calling an Uber to reach the airport. A short flight later, I spent almost the same amount of time waiting for a lift as the duration I was in the air. On the ride, I made a last minute change to Problem 16 on my late homework and turned it in on my phone before 11.59. Shortly after meeting my generous MIT student host, we blew up the air mattress and I went to sleep. Follow for part two! It was a windy morning, but we made it to the check-in tent and received a nice tote bag and sweatshirt, along with a small breakfast. The opening ceremony consisted of a few speakers, as well as an acapella concert. Ben Addy's friend from BU joined us in the student center, where we stole some extra lunchboxes from a conference next door and began working on customer research for our health and nutrition idea. Short bubble break at Tito located right on the first floor of the student center. Slowly, our idea came together. While Addy researched how recent advancements in wearable technologies have utilized sweat to track biomarkers for hydration, glucose, and vitamins, I looked into the capabilities of AI and computer vision to identify and estimate nutrient levels through pictures of food. By 7 p.m., we were all quite hungry and tired, so we packed up and spent a few minutes briefly exploring the area. And rather than getting the free hackathon food, we craved something greater, like authentic Chinese food at Five Spice House, followed by a dose of Toscanini's ice cream. Then we dragged ourselves back to the student center to wrap up our work, although not without a midnight snack of pizza dipped in ice cream. At 2 a.m., we finally submitted our project, Don't Sweat It. Follow for part three and to learn what we made and how it works. I like my sleep, so after waking up late, we visited the croissant buffet to grab brunch and then picked a table where we did homework while waiting for the arrival of our judges. Now about our submission, Don't Sweat It. Water and nutrient tracking is tedious and time consuming. So our smartwatch uses sweat to track hydration, glucose, and more, with data backed by AI-based macro estimations from photos of your meals. We spent most of our time doing research to validate the technical feasibility and business opportunities of this unique combo idea, focusing on our strengths in user interface design to create the app wireframes and 3D mockup. We speed pitched a total of three times, but as expected, didn't make it to finals, so Addy and I left the venue for a walk across the Hudson River Bridge. With such nice weather outside, it would be a waste to spend the rest of our remaining time in Boston locked among other nervous participants. We met up with Addy's friend once again, who showed us around Boston and took us to enjoy hearty Vietnamese soup, but I had to take my wontons to go as I rushed to catch my 7-hour train ride back to Baltimore. Although I didn't do any coding or claim a top prize this weekend, it was a great first college-level hackathon experience, and a fun trip overall. I'm looking forward to more hackathon opportunities in the future.